Hey everyone, in this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn about another very important loop which will help you to iterate through the array elements and perform a specific action. It is better than the for loop. So basically the loop is something similar to for and it is known as for each loop. Okay. So how we are going to use for each loop. So over the array. Okay. So if I say, for example, this is the variable, the students that holds this array, right? These are the elements within the array. So I can simply say students dot for each. Okay. Now this for each will accept callback function as an argument right so within uh, this call uh, for each loop i can specify the callback function and what this for each loop does is it it will help you to iterate through each of these elements that are there okay and whatever you want to specify within the callback function that operation will be done okay so now if we talk about callback function i have already explained previously so callback function is a function that will be called right so so for example within this for each i can specify another function that is being called so i can define that function directly here so i can with the traditional approach i can go ahead and write the function keyword and then specify the name of the function say for example i want to specify the name as student and what exactly i want to do with the so basically if say for example i want to iterate through using the for each loop i want to iterate over each of these element and print these items right print the items that are there within this particular array okay so i'll put a variable item right so the function name as student and the function argument as item okay parameter as an item so now within this function right so the keyword function the name of the function and then i simply want to go ahead and print say for example i want to print these on the console these items on the console so i'll simply say print all the items on the console okay so this is the simplest form of this callback function within the for each loop now what this for each loop does it will basically use this callback function whatever we have defined here within the callback function will be performed on each of the element that is there within the array okay so for example when this loop executes it will go to the first value okay and then it will this value get replaced by the item and the item gets printed okay now because this is accepting the function so in the function we have defined to accept the value as an item okay so whatever value as an item and then print that particular item in the second iteration it goes through the second item and does that until there are elements within the array so let's quickly run this and see what is the result so you'll see all the values of the array are printed on the console okay now this is the approach that we have used earlier right now basically with the arrow function we have also understood that traditional defining of the function and then there is an arrow function which is more of a short so if you are using we can simply change this to we can remove this function student and then change it to the arrow function right so we can simply say uh, equal to sign and greater than symbol and this converts to an arrow so we don't have to specify the keyword function and the name of the function we can simply say for each item in the students array console.log or basically print the item right so now this is more readable right now why this is more readable because now you can read it something like that for each item within students array right for each item within students array what you do is you go ahead and print or do console.log or print it on the console right so this is how you are going to read it now if say for example there are there is just single statement here right so even we can simplify even more so if there is a, just a single statement, okay, we don't have multiple statement with the arrow function, I can have everything in one line, right? Because there is just console.log item and that pretty much will fulfill the whole printing of the items within the array. So if I send this request now, okay, so you'll see that it did exactly same thing as it did in the previous case, right? So this is how you're going to basically use the for each loop now the approach that we'll be using say for example with the arrow function we'll be using the curly braces why because sometimes we need to print or have multiple statements right multiple lines there so in that particular case in that particular case we are going to basically have these curly braces okay and now say for example we know that this for each loop accepts different arguments right so the first was the value the second was the index right so we can also say okay 
as per the value right so you'll see as soon as i did comma you'll see the second argument that i can pass in the is the index number and the third argument is the array okay so the array itself so i can say i also want to have the index printed for each item that is being printed and then comma separated as soon as i do comma separated you'll see you will see the argument that needs to be passed is highlighted automatically so the array okay so i can also say array right now i can go ahead and print the index as well as array okay so here i can say print index and then here print array okay so now because there are multiple lines you can't can't do multiple console.log statements you need to have these curly braces so this is the better approach if you are using the arrow function but if it if there is just one single statement it's always better to keep it all in the single line right so now if say for example i open the console and run this code here you will see that this time the output is little different right because we have passed three arguments the first one is printing the value the second is printing the index and third one is printing the actual array right so this is how we are going to use the for each loop to iterate over the array and print the items out of the array or do any operation for example right i want to go through each the each of the element check the value is equal to something or do some operation on the particular value right so i can do anything i only have to go ahead and write the function what exactly i want to do when i iterate through each of the item within the array using for each loop similar to for loop right so we iterate over the elements of the array and then if we want to check some value equals to something less than something equal to greater than something and then perform some action some test that is same that we can do with the for each loop the advantage of for each loop is it is much easier to use and understand right so basically for each item index and array within students right you do this right you do console.log item you console.log index and array so it iterates through each element and then performs these statement goes to the next statement performs these statement and next until there are items within the array okay so this is how you are going to use for each loop we'll be using this a lot in the api test cases and i'll show you the correlation basically we'll have a test case with the for loop with for each loop with find and then you can decide which is the best and easiest way and most efficient way to basically use right so you need to have that correlation and understand which particular approach is better when you are doing the api testing you need to understand the concept all the concept but then where to use what you will get to know when we'll use all these loops and different approaches within javascript in one particular so that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.